It's a really beautiful day, isn't it? The sun is shining and the weather is just perfect. You know what else is perfect? The date, April 20th, or in this case, 420. Now, what some of you may not realize is that 420 is the most famous staple in the marijuana industry. However, some of you may not actually know the true story behind 420. You see, one day a group of high school students known as the Waldos had secretly hidden a stash of marijuana somewhere around their campus. And they would always have a time when they would go out and begin their weed smoking adventures. Can you guess what time it was? Exactly, 420. So, yeah, so this sort of became the code phrase for when these Waldos would go out and um, start smoking this marijuana. And pretty soon the whole town was aware of their actions and there was even an article about them for the high times. Now, looking out into the crowd right now, I see some faces of shock or disbelief from some of you. Well, why though? Just because I'm talking about marijuana? just because I speak about it with such ease. You know, I've noticed how our country has become so conservative and afraid about this one topic that they consider talking about it a giant taboo. However, marijuana is not something that we should fear. If we were to look past all the bad rep and controversy that marijuana has received in the past, we would, see, we would truly see the truth, the truth of how marijuana is not a menace at all. And that is what I'm here to talk to you about today, the real truth behind marijuana. You see, now if I'm going to explain the truth to you all, I'm going to start from the beginning. The earliest traces of marijuana can be found in 8000 BC Taiwan, and it was used as cords for pottery and other local artistry. It was so old, in fact, that some scientists have even speculated that marijuana has had its hand in the development of modern day society. From Taiwan, it diffused all around the world from South Asia to South Africa to South America and even the Middle East. It had finally arrived in America around the 1900s. Um, it was brought to America and mostly diffused around the southwestern region of the United States from Mexico. You see, marijuana has been, was brought to Mexico from Mexican immigrants who were fleeing from the Mexican Revolution of 1910 to 1911. And this is where the true fear of America the true American fear of marijuana had began. You see, Americans at the time were so afraid of the minority race, which was the Mexicans, that they associated everything and anything that was related to them, evil or hazardous, and this included marijuana. And because of this, by 1931, marijuana has been banned in over 29 states across the country. But I believe it was banned wrongfully. Yes, sir, ladies and gentlemen, because what people during the 1900s failed to realize is that marijuana can be very beneficial and helpful to our society and health and medical benefits. Allow me to elaborate. You see, over the past few decades, marijuana has been found to be the key to, many disease, to the cure of many diseases and illnesses. Take, for instance, glaucoma. You see, glaucoma is um, a condition for the eye that consists of pressure that causes um, a reduction in the peripheral vision and even blindness. The only way to lessen the effects of glaucoma is to lessen the interocular pressures within the eye. And wouldn't you know it? Marijuana does just that. Um, you see, marijuana contains an active compound known as THC, and THC is a type of cannabinoid which um, you didn't, if you didn't know, had, would have sort of psychoactive effects in the body and the mind. And this is sort of where the high comes from that everybody um, associates marijuana with. So the, a, conduct, a study conducted by the National Eye Institute revealed that marijuana has been found to be the key to the reduction of the interocular pressures within the eye. Furthermore, marijuana has been found to be the key to the stop of cancer cells. Because you see, cancer cells contain a certain gene known as ID1, and ID1 is responsible for the replication and multiplication of marijuana across the body and throughout your cells. Now, if this, cell were, if this gene were to be turned off, then the spread of cancer cells would slowly dissipate and even kill them as a result. And again, marijuana does just that. 
Um, you see, a study conducted by the California Pacific Medical Center in 2007 showed that when breast cancer cells were exposed to marijuana, their ID1 expression had lowered and had overall killed the cells. Now, as you can see, Marijuana has been found to be very beneficial and can really save a lot of lives if it was more accepted by society. However, I'm not going to be I'm not going to stand up here and defend marijuana marijuana's negative actions in society from gangs to crimes to m many negative factors in, so in our society. I know in times such as these um, High school students such as myself have not been able to achieve their full potential because of marijuana. However, we as a society can change that. If we were to band together and put the positive side of marijuana first and push out the negative side, then we would truly have a better future. And a way to do this is if we were to restrict the use of medical of medical marijuana to just medical uses and to put a more strict um, hold on the recreational side. If we were to do this, then basically all the crime and negative factors of marijuana would slowly dissipate and our society can start anew. By then, we would be able to start a better and brand new society. By then, we would further our society to new levels. And I'm not afraid to say it. I believe that marijuana can take our society to a new high. <laughs> Sorry, bad pun, bad pun. Anyways, my name is Isaiah Pagdanganan, and thank you for letting me speak to you today.